What's the biggest real news story that broke on an April Fool's Day that everyone thought was actually fake? The world's oldest person died today in Japan. Apparently it's a common thing in Germany to pretend the German city of Bielefeld doesn't exist. Bielefeld got so fed up they had to release a press statement to confirm it does exist. However, they released it on April 1st. Well in Hawaii there was a big-ass tsunami on April 1st, don't remember the year. And people were running through the streets yelling tsunami and people thought it was a joke. It didn't end well for those people. My dad left us. My mom came to tell us and we thought it was an April Fool until she started crying. Oh yeah? And Goat Simulator came out. Google Mail Gmail Canada got a whole new territory on April Fool's Day in 1999. Not only could the timing have been better, the name of the new territory probably contributed to the idea that this large land's right brand was a joke. Nunavut David Lee Roth leaving Van Halen in 1985, 30 years ago, today. Matt Hamill, a deaf MMA fighter passed a car going the wrong way on the freeway, turned his truck around, chased the car down and stopped it with his own vehicle. Then he smashed the window to rescue a baby in the back seat. While the mother was barely conscious and high out of her mind, not weed, this isn't really news for the rest of the world, but today I woke up and found out that my friend was murdered last night. I thought it was a terrible joke but sadly it wasn't. I'm still hoping someone is going to call me and say it really was a bad joke. The two biggest JRPG franchises in video game history have been for some time Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, created by the companies Square and Enix respectively. On April 1st, the two companies officially merged, creating Square Enix, a single company which would control all IPs of both companies and undisputed JRPG supergiant. I thought it was discussed and announced beforehand. Due to the actual merge happening on April Fool's Day, many fans thought it was a huge joke. There was a huge underground fire in London today that shut down a lot of businesses and shows and knocked the power out in that part of the city. A lot of people woke up and saw that news and thought it was an April Fool's Day joke. But nope, big fire. The return of home star runner. Gmail and same-sex marriage in the Netherlands. Back in the 90s there was a great radio station in Central. Florida called The Crow, WKRO, that played new rock music in being 16 years old in Daytona Beach. It created the soundtrack of our teens. Then, on 1 April 1st, it started playing country music, WTF. Myself and many, many others thought it was an April Fool's prank. But the country music kept playing on April 2nd, and 3rd, and 4th. And we finally gave in to the fact that the station really did switch formats and we lost the last great new rock station in the area. Lucas DLC for Smash 4 No one is thinking it's a joke. But today they released to the public that a student 21 at my school has been arrested for raping two boys between the ages of 4 and 5. I really wish it was an April Fool's Day joke. Deadpool movie being rated R not PG-13. Some stuff in this thread makes part of me wish April Fool's Day wasn't a thing. Marvin Gaye's death. Right now, some people think it's a joke that Cynthia Lennon died. Newfoundland voted itself into Canada on April Fool's Day. Not only that, but it was by 51%. True story. Selena was shot on March 31st. Many people thought the reports were a prank since a lot of coverage of it happened on the 1st. My best friend's father killed himself. The MF Doom and Flying Lotus collaboration album this year. A guy in class told me he got cancer. Turns out he actually did. Kinda felt like a dick. I had 
a dog who pooped in my parents' bed on April Fool's Day. No one believed me, until they looked. It was the ultimate April Fool's joke played out by my dog. My physics professor announced he is cancelling the midterm and giving us all A's. Oh come on, can't believe I didn't find Andrew Getty of the famous Getty family. Found dead of blunt force trauma to the rectal area. I remember one of our papers broke the story of the Large Hadron Collider on April Fool's Day. I thought it was a hoax until I saw more articles on it a few days later. My wife has been cheating on me since January. Wish it was an April Fool's joke. Should have put a serious tag on this. On a slightly different note, my mother though 9-11 was a bad action movie and got frustrated when it was the only thing on. She only realized it was real when the second plane crashed, having slept through the first. Well Rooster Teeth's anniversary is today so pretty much all of their announcements. Mitch Hedberg's death. Well my high school I graduated from burned down last night and when I woke up I didn't believe it but it was true. Rooster Teeth as a company started on April 1st. It sucks because everything they announce on their anniversary is regarded as a joke haha. <laughs> Alabama, I think, politicians stated that the laws against gay marriage are not discriminatory because they also apply to straight people. Straight people can't marry people of the same sex. Gay people are perfectly free to marry people of the opposite sex. So, not discriminatory. Last year, Shane Gandy from MTV's Buck Wild was killed in a car accident. Though the show was kind of stupid, the kid died at 21 years of age and no one believed it. Well, my high school boyfriend broke up with me on April Fool's Day years ago. And no one believed me. No one is going to see this. But, when I was a kid, my best friend and pseudo-mother went on holiday. They got in a car crash. The mom died. I was the first person she told and all I said was that's not funny. I'm still upset about my reaction. Ironically, the world's youngest person was born today. Edit, fuck, my highest scored comment ever. And I misused the word irony. I blame Alanis Morissette. Why does the world's oldest person keep dying? Somebody should look into it. It seems there is always a story about the world's oldest person dying. Is there an assassin killing them? Like all of them have died. That means they aren't the oldest anymore now are they? Didn't even see news today about it. How sad. According to Wikipedia her husband died in 1931. That absolutely blows my mind. RIP. Have you ever been to Bielefeld? Have you ever met anyone who has ever been to Bielefeld? I just looked that up. That's fantastic. I had a girlfriend whose last name was Bielefeld. And I absentmindedly shared this fact with my friends. My girlfriend didn't exist for a while. That was Bielefeld just playing with a joke. Both my parents were in the British Army and growing up we moved about every 18 months. Including being based in Bielefeld when I was about 5 and Dusseldorf when I was 9. This has given me weird broken up memories of my childhood. Except for some reason I have no memories of Bielefeld even though I remember clearly based in London before then. Every time I try to think of Bielefeld I just get memories of Dusseldorf. First time a German person explained what caused this freaked me out a bit. This is a lame April's fool. We all know that there is no Bielefeld. Worst prank asterisk ever. Till Marvin Gaye is dead. And only sentenced to probation. For murdering his son. EMTs arrived but sexual healing failed. I bet the people in the tsunami believed it. Heard about this on the radio yesterday. Angry, I live at the other end of the country. 
goat sim is all the fathering you need. My wife's mom called her last year and told my wife she and wife's dad were getting a divorce. She cried and everything. She was real convincing. When my wife started freaking out she was like, haha got you, yeah that's real funny.